Hello everybody and welcome to episode 36 here on the Diamond Society. I am Hodeg and I hope you guys like that epic intro. I had a few days off and I was just going crazy, you guys. I yeah, mined out a few netherrack blocks, you could say. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I told Gex I would help him with that farm and then I had to go on vacation. I was out of the state. I was out of Mexico back in the states for like 2 weeks and couldn't play much. And I just, I couldn't help him much. And then I got back and I was obsessed with playing Ark and stuff. I didn't help him much. So I was like, you know what? It's time to help him out a little bit. And we will probably be going back there and mining out maybe another section later on or soon in the near future. But I'm not really sure what we can get to right now. Because we got other stuff to do right now, you guys. And one thing, mining out all of that, is that I got all of this. Where did it go? Where did I put it? Come on. Where did I? There it is. Nether quartz. Because my shop is out, you know? So I got that. And I got a little bit extra, too. So when that runs out, we're still good. And here we go. Now, I'm over here because I need to go to my shop. But I already looked over there. And as you can see, um, I believe Hathais or somebody has been up to some shenanigans. Now, I'm thinking Hathais because I was the one who covered his entire base in snow. And we got derpy looking snowmen and stuff over here just hanging out. And, uh, you know what, buddy? You know what? Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, that's probably not even the only one. Is there a sign in here? Oh, man. Um, what? It looks like someone visited the shop and let the snowman out, maybe. And the signs have been knocked off. This is destruction of property, people. This is... Ridiculous! Whoever, I'm gonna find out who did this, and there will be consequences. What is with the the wood? There's wood too. I thought this was just a a, a snowy thing. Okay, uh, clearly we need to address this, and I will very soon once I figure out who did it for sure. I'm gonna be, you know, the police officer might have to come back. Police officer Hodag may have to come back and solve what has been going on here because this is un called for shenanigans of the highest degree. You know what? I probably put nether quartz in the shop and whoever did this probably comes by and buys it even. But they just want they don't want to look like they're all into it. You know? This is ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to tear this down. I'm going to restock the shop for all of you guys who like nether quartz ore. Come on over to the nether quartz ore shop where we have nether quartz ore all the time. And we're going to put the signs back up so people know what's up. <laughs> Okay, it's raining out again, and, uh, and we've, we've, we've cleared out the shop, it's back to its normal self, and we got the signs back, it tells everything we need to know. Welcome to a very fiery and not snowy at all shop. We're the best, if ice is a turd, we sell nether quartz ore. <laughs> Big shout out to customer of the week, I don't know. I don't know that it was a Thais, but, you know, he was the one who messed with us the first time, and I really feel like this could be him. If it's not him, someone's messing with both of us, and if Thais, if it's not him, I apologize for, if it's not you, sorry, I'm talking to you in the third person. Oh, wait, am I the third person? I don't know, I don't know, but if it wasn't you, you talk to me, and we'll get to the bottom of this, and, uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna get this person, whoever it is, okay? But if it was you, you're totally a turd, okay? Here, a steaming pile of poo. <laughs> now the quartz ore shop is restocked, you guys. Come on over and bye bye bye. All right, it is still storming outside, but we're down here inside of our tree, which isn't quite a tree yet. It's more like the roots, you know. And I think what we got to do here is we gotta get we gotta get figured out where we're gonna have this uh, this actual like spawner thing, you know the the villager breeder. That's the thing. And we got to figure out where it's going to go. It, it's not going to go where it is upstairs right now. That's that's a ridiculous place for it to go, okay? It's it's just sitting up there, like, at the surface by itself. And it doesn't go there, okay? It's not, it could never go there. It's ridiculous. It's outside. You want to be quiet with the thunder? Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, this, this block's are really bugging me. I'm going to have to get those. But... I'm thinking we gotta start putting more stuff down here. Now, I think you can have a villager breeder and the villager trading hall kind of in the near area. I don't want to put it right next to each other. I feel like that would cause the villagers to look at each other or something like that. So what I think I'm going to do is put it over here in a very tinier room. 
And then I'm going to start the Villager Trading Hall over maybe on this side. And that way when I push a button over here, the villagers will come over this way. And they don't have too far to travel, just over here. And um, yeah, they'll come over here and I'll check them. And if they're not good, I'll send them off somewhere else. And if they are good, then I'll keep them. And that's going to take a little redstone work, which maybe I can figure out. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get all that done today, especially with the design of the room and everything. But at least we can get maybe the floor done. Uh, and I'm scared to leave it that way, though, because then something's going to crawl in here and kill them all. I know they will. So let's uh, let's at least get this room done. That's first. Let's get let's get over here done, and we'll close it off and everything. You can see I've already worked on a door frame, just like I have kind of over on that side. I'm gonna have to build the rest of this up, otherwise it's gonna bug me. So I'm gonna build the rest of this uh, the jungle wood. I'm gonna build it over the top. If I, if, if I can remember how I made it so random and, and nice looking last time, because I like how it looks. And I'll, I'll do a little bit on this side as well. And that'll allow me to kind of come in here and mess around with this area and make a little tiny room with the villager breeder. And yeah, villager breeder is uneven though. It's nine blocks long. And this thing is even. Oh man, we're going to figure that out. So I've been working for a few hours and it's definitely time to bring you guys back to show you a bit of the progress that's been going on. Now at first value here, your face value might not seem like much is different, but let's take a look around. You will see that the walls are coming up all the way, all the way around. They're up like four or five blocks. I haven't, you know, filled in the ceiling yet, but uh, we might do that in a time lapse coming up here if I can figure out a good way to actually show it to you guys because we're kind of surrounded by a stone everywhere. So this way is going to be where the villager breeder is, I've decided. Okay, it's going to be up here somewhere. There's going to be some walkway up so you can see the two guys. And then down below, you're going to have a little dude in his little house or something. And I'm going to make it work in there, okay? And then you go over here, and I was like, you know what? Should we put, you know, the villager... You know, let's not look that way yet. Let's not look that way. <laughs> let's go around to this side. Over on this side is going to be where our villager trading hall is going to be eventually. So I'm going to have to knock out a bunch of space here. We're going to make sure it's completely spawn proof. Oh, and by the way, on the back sides of all this wood here, I'm going to start half slabbing it. Uh, maybe in this video, maybe between videos, I don't know, but I half slab it because there still are a few slime chunks around here that I haven't built anything on yet. And as you can see, this area used to be completely open. It's filling up. For those of you guys worrying about me having empty spaces, this area is filling up rather quickly. In fact, I'm having to mine out more and more of the brick up top as I go. And then there was one more thing, one more path down here where I was like, you know what? There could be something here. What do we need? Well, I thought of one thing it definitely should be. There's really only one thing it should be. And there it is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, another portal. I haven't even gone through it yet. Uh, I'm not sure where it links up to. I'm going to make sure to go through on the other side and, and, and mark out exactly where it should link to so we don't have any confusion over there. But, um, but yeah, there it is, and there's where it's going to be. Uh, we may have more than one other portal in our space eventually, so I can't build our nether hub yet because our space is going to be so big. This home tree is not our only location. We also have the sugarcane slime farm over there. We also are going to be putting up a few other trees around the area. You know, if, if the server continues for years, we're still going to have stuff to do. So I'm going to build up this ceiling a little tall, put something in here. And then when I'm done with all of this, you guys, you see how the center part has all this, like, you know, detail and stuff? Eventually all of this will. It's just right now I want to get this enclosed so that it's safe and I can put villagers down here. In fact, I didn't want to do this top part. But I think we're going to have to, because otherwise we're going to have zombies running up the top and jumping in and coming over and messing up our whole zombie villager vacation thing, Mabop. So, I think what we're going to do next is we're going to try to time lapse me basically putting some of the roof on here, putting the roof on this ring, putting the roof over here maybe a little bit, building stuff up. But when I come back, I'm hoping this whole center area is done with roof roofification and then also this room as well.
Sorry, you guys. I had to cut that time lapse a little short just because, and it was really tough to find a good spot to put the camera, really. So I uh, hope it wasn't too boring. Basically, I hope you enjoyed it to some degree. But you can see that we have gone around and around and around. It has taken me some time today just to kind of go through. Now, I haven't quite finished everything. You see, there's still a tiny little spot. But I'm running out of time today to do this episode, and I do want to get to some of the villager stuff. So there is still only just this one spot left. And then, of course, this entrance here, which you know what? Now that I think of it, do I have any... Eh, maybe we can use diorite. I don't know. I might come back later and just make this so that nothing can get through. Kind of like this, actually. Let's just use smooth stone. And I'll come back and replace this dirt later, too. There we go. So now... Ha! Okay, now everything inside of the circle should be spawn-proofed, okay? And you can see, here we go. We got our nether portal room not finished. There's got to be a lot of detailing done, but... The nether portal's there. I've marked out the coordinates. I'm going to, just in a second, once we get done with this, I'm going to go through and mark out where that's got to go. Our villager trading hall is going to be going over here. But sadly, I think the only thing we're going to have time for after this is really getting our villager breeder down here. And I'm going to build it slightly differently, so I hope it actually works. Uh, right here we go. Okay, it's kind of close. I didn't want to make a big room really, but you can see I've already started to kind of do some things. I gotta go get my glowstone. I gotta go get a few things, but it's the exact same kind of villager breeder as upstairs. It's just gonna be down here instead, and our villagers gonna come out this way, and right here is where we're gonna have some minecart action. They're gonna swoop around behind our nether portal over there and come back over into the trading hall whenever we want one. And hopefully that journey doesn't take them too long. It makes me bored over there in the waiting in the training hall. <laughs> but I have to go get some glowstone. We're going to put the glowstone in here. We're going to get this thing kind of done. We're going to put some probably just wood on the outside for now. And if I like it, we'll go with it. If I don't, then maybe we'll tear it down later. And yeah, villager breeder is almost down to the bottom. This thing is almost complete. We got another portal done. We're going to soon be getting the trading hall going. And I do mean soon because our guys upstairs... Well, let's go up there. As you can see, we have a bit of a problem going on here. <laughs> now, after the last time, last, last episode when I showed you guys this, I closed this thinking, hey, that will turn off the villager breeder and no more villagers will get through. And apparently, unless I put a few more pieces of glass here or something so that when they grow up, they don't just pop back into here, Maybe something like that. It doesn't even look like they're jumping off the sides anymore. But, yeah. We're, I think we're still going to use this. If it completely fails, we will build a different kind of villager breeder. But I want to give it a chance, okay? We're going to go downstairs. We're going to install this thing. And these guys are breeding too fast, so I have to get them downstairs and get that villager breeder done before I even do that. So I can get them straight into the thing. Okay. Now I'm kind of mad. To my knowledge, there have been no zombies in here. Although, now that I think of it, I totally should have done this. Because one zombie could have ruined the whole thing. My amazing mending villager is gone. It was in a minecart. It was sitting in there, and it's gone. That hurts. It's working! There's a villager! Yes! I need to put... Oh my god, I'm not ready. I don't have the trap doors in on all the sides. I don't have the water streams in. I don't even have a way to collect them yet. Oh my god. I should have done that before, but it's working! Yes, and the villager with the doors is now like up above instead of down below. Okay, so you know, let's switch that up. You know what I mean? Okay, uh, okay, what do I do now, I guess? Okay, a quick update. I'm not sure how much further I'll get, but I will get a little bit more done. But I got this little dude in here. Got the water streams in. Got the uh, trap doors on the side so that the little guys fall in. And on the off chance that one stays up there, oh, that's a bummer. I'll fix that later. However, there is a thing here. See, before I was putting a solid block there and thinking, hey, I totally did things right. They are breeding, okay? That's a fact. And the little guy's up there to prove it. We got two guys already. But I don't know what this happening the first time. I think I just messed up something the first time. 
Remember I said I built it the first time over there, and then when I built it up there, I was like, well, maybe it was just working down there, but these guys were suffocating right here. Well, I don't think they are. Um, I don't know what was happening to them. I don't know if my breeder was even working. Maybe I did something wrong. But what I do know is that when these guys are coming through there, sometimes they sit on these little posts so long that they actually grow up to be too tall. They grow up to be adults, and when they're adults and there's a full block here, it stops them from going through. It's going to pile up here. Can't have that. So what we got here is the normal, still normal system over here that we're going to keep. And if I can kind of do some weird sort of jab here, maybe put something like that there and then go, huh. and look at that, scales. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put this up another one. I do have to add, oh, man. Let me just go all the way down. I have to add another water in there, actually. But I wanted to trade with these cartographers over here first before I did that. So let's get rid of some of our paper just by trading with some cartographers and seeing if these guys really do have anything good. This is a horrible, at least from the standpoint of uh, emeralds, horrible cartographer, I believe. This is 34 emeralds. Actually, we were just trying to unlock his trades, not go crazy with them. Bro, there we go. There's a compass. Wow, thanks for that. Okay, I don't I don't care about the cartographers anymore. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I'm going to see how much I can get down, and then we'll be back to say goodbye. Welcome back, everybody. Here we go. We got uh, some very poor, but, you know, nice decoration done up on here. So if you turn to the right, you got a little thing. You can go up here and you go look and see what they're doing up here. If they're planting, see if the farmer guy, he just harvested some potatoes there. I know there's potatoes there before. And, uh, yeah, so there's just going around and around. Looks like we've got two villagers now. That one guy finally found his way down and around here. He took some damage for a second or two right about here. And I think it's because he actually swims up but then bounces and hits his head here and he can't go past this. And when he does that, that's a problem because then he, takes, then he starts drowning. And eventually he just moved over by himself. But if he doesn't start to stop fighting to try to get back here, he's going to take some damage there. So I'm going to keep an eye on that, you guys. I have it closed up up there. Everything in here is spawn-proof. Everything inside the farm. Everything up by our little dude inside the, his little house, house thing. But, you guys, I don't think we're going to have enough time to really test this thing out. So I'm going to do that in between episodes. I'm going to make sure these guys keep growing. I'm going to make sure these guys keep making babies. And I'm going to start trying to figure out how we're going to actually get the villagers from here over there and what that room's going to start to look like. But we got a lot done today, you guys. We got our new nether portal room in over there. We got most of this enclosed off here and safer. We got over here. We got the villager breeder down here. And I can't wait till next episode. We're going to get the, we're going to get the, uh, what do you call it, the trading hall in over here. And that needs to happen because otherwise these guys are going to keep building up and building up and building up. And I need a way to kind of filter them out. So... That's definitely got to happen next, and after that we're going to move away from the base, do some other things. But, you guys, I want to thank you guys for watching today. I hope you liked it. I hope the like, subscribe, whatever. Show me some love, but thanks for watching, and have a nice day.